We do begin with breaking news in Madeira. Investigators say a man went on a killing spree against his own family. Dijon Walker is accused of killing two women and injuring a third. It all happened in Madeira in the 700 block of Pear Avenue. Police say the suspect then fled in a car owned by a family member. Police caught up with him at Avenue 9 and Road 36. He then crashed and then tried to fight a police officer. CBS 47's Alexon Balakian is live in the neighborhood where the murders took place. Alexon. Yeah, good evening, guys. This remains a very active crime scene, as you can see behind me. This quiet, well manicured neighborhood rocked tonight by this brutal double homicide. Now, police say the violent stabbings all started around 5:45 this evening, and then it ended with police chasing down the suspect and then carting him off in an ambulance. There are deputies and CHP officers tracking down 23-year-old Dijon Walker in this field near Avenue 9 and Road 36. Police say Walker has been in what they call a drug psychosis for the last few days, and that set off some sort of a dispute. He grabbed a knife um, and began viciously stabbing um, all three of the victims. Police say Walker killed his aunt and great aunt. A third female family member survived the violent attack. After the stabbings, Walker took off in a car owned by a family member and crashed into a vacant car. Officers spotted Walker running away. A fight ensued. Uh, he was very combative with the officers. We got him into custody, um, and he was transported to the hospital, and he'll be en route uh, to jail for booking on double homicide and attempted murder charges. Now a once quiet neighborhood shocked by this brutal double murder. Uh, I'm thinking, you know, it, it could happen anywhere. It could happen in any neighborhood if you really think about it. I mean, I don't think anywhere is safe anymore. And police have yet to identify the third family victim, but they do say she is in stable condition at this hour. It should also be noted neighbors that live close to where the murders happened, they are having to park on the side street and are ushered into their homes by police at this hour. We're live in Madera tonight. Alexander Balakian, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.